Hello everyone and welcome back to Divinity. So we are about to turn in the two quests, the Archaeologist and the Lighthouse. And then we're going to go to the King's Crab Inn. So just as a heads up, there's going to be a lot of talking in this episode. And most likely not any fighting at all. Because we're going to explore the main storyline a little bit. So just to let you know about that. Now, let's go turn in these quests. Hello. So we have to go to matters concerning the Legion because it does not automatically like turn them in. You have to go find them in the menus. And then we have to discuss the expeditions. Lighthouse. What? Only two Legionnaires survived the expedition, but they didn't dare proceed to the lighthouse? Rather cowardly of them, that. And there was nothing very much out of the ordinary to be found there, you say? Guess I can't but take your word for it. What rotten business. You know, I wonder... I wonder if I should have followed them to the lighthouse. Hmm. I wonder if anything happens to them. I didn't think about that. I may have to go back there. And then the burial mounds. Yeah, because we didn't actually get any XP for it. I, I played this again, and I last time I lied for the Legionnaires, and I actually completed that quest, but not this time. Huh, I'm gonna have to revisit the lighthouse. By the pest-written peckers of all demons down below. You mean to tell me none of my Legionnaires survived that expedition? Gods be hanged, drawn, and quartered. They died for nothing, but that ass of an archaeologist makes it back to safety? Aw, oh, damn it all to hell and back. <laughs> And then we have the church to still search, but we're not going to get to that yet. Now let's leave. Bye. Okay. And maybe we should check upstairs. I want to see what Aru has to sell. Oh, look at that. He's not in his cat form. Hello. Let's barter. Alright, so these are going to be geomancy stuff. Okay, so our main character has geomancy, but I don't think I'm going to be buying much for her. We have Magical Poison. Midnight Oil is pretty good. Hmm. But again... I don't know. Also has Pyromancy. How much money do you have? 225. Hmm. Okay, well, I would like to have a ranger at some point, so I don't really want to sell the arrows. Uh, hold on. Let's switch to Tokshin. He's our pyro guy. Summon Fire Elemental is something I would like to have. I've heard that it's pretty darn cool. 1800, though. <laughs> so all that does is add that. Okay, so let's take that back. How about we offer this, this... Let's offer, like, everything here. Except for Resurrect Scrolls. Those are pretty good. I'll offer those two. I'll say yes. Oh, there's no way we're going to get this, is there? Item level 3. Item level 3. 23 to 39. 26 to 44. And also the chance to set blind. We'll sell that. That. Do not think we're going to have enough to barter with here. Hmm. That is unfortunate. So what kind of sucks is I really wish you could cycle through your characters, but then it takes back everything that you put into this menu. See? So you kind of have to pull your items together, everything you want to sell. Okay, hold on. Probably should have took care of this before, but... Uh, sorry. Sorry. And it looks like I picked up an ooze barrel. That is not something I meant to do. But yeah, you can pick up barrels and crates if you wish to. Uh, let's see. Send a token. Send a token. So yeah, this, the bartering system can be a little bit of a hassle. Since you have to pull everything together. Yeah, I may have to actually use these arrows. Okay, let's do a ruby. Let's 
So all those scrolls, that. Oops. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see if we have enough to barter that uh, now. Oh, and Medora has something to say. Look, I'm not one to stuff my nose where it ain't invited, but those harebrained... Or whose harebrained idea was it to install a wizard to fight dark magic and Psyseal? May as well invite a shark to protect minnows. Knowing how his kind thrive on sticking their fat fingers into the natural order, it surprised me about as much as a sack of potatoes to find out Aru himself's a sorcerer. And how do we feel about this? She hates magic. I'll say this for now. I'm glad to hear we're of a mind, this sort of operation, seeking out source from a million possible angles, that is, requires a united force. I'm not sure what happens if you disagree, if they would ever leave you or not. Solidarity will be our advantage against the magical enemy, especially now that it's spread to the helm of Sysil itself. Okay. Anyway, let's go back and try and purchase that fire elemental. Hello! Okay, buddy. Uh, you know what? Well, that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll sell that. Aha! There we go. Okay. So I can actually take back... Let's take back this. That's really what's given it to us. How about we sell some more of these things? Oh, whoa, 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 what the heck did I just sell? That stuff's worth a lot more than I thought it would be. Alright, I sell the crossbow. Okay. Good enough for me. Take my leave. Now, let's learn the spell. And there he is. Plus two due to low pyrokinetic. Wow, nine action points. Oh boy. Okay. That's kind of a lot. Kind of a lot. Alright, so off to the King's Crab Inn. Although, I suppose we should at least see what he looks like. Again, very cool animation. Whoa. Harry Who Wendy? That's that's its name. <laughs> All right. Still pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, off to the end. Wow. Oh. 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 Good to know. He does explode when time runs out and leaves a burning aura underneath him. Or I should say it. I doubt it has a gender. Okay. Duke of Feral. Now, where do we want to talk to? So, just to show you real fast, you can talk to this unsinkable Sam and get a side quest. I want to actually go through it right here. I'll leave that up to you if you have a pet pal in your party. But no, that is a... It's, it's, it's kind of funny. Careful now, your head's going more swollen than saffron, I dare say. Where is the... End key. Maybe they would know where this person was murdered. A hearty welcome to the King Crab Inn, and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have a seat, stay a while, and, and listen. Uh, what do you know about Jake's murder? Psst. Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, you know. Well, how about you tell me about it? That room where it happened. It was rented to a certain woman, though I regret to say I can't exactly say who. 
Or I can't say exactly who. Uh, this inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a certain Esmeralda. Figured this was... or this were just more of the same. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. I was startled awake by horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed my grandpappy's machete, <laughs> bleary-eyed and awash in fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it had escaped through the window, but I saw nary a soul when I looked out. You can bet I hightailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after that. Do you suspect anyone? Counselor Jake. That poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a great mistake. Esmeralda's longest standing lover had has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Duke of Feral, a high title for a low man. If you haven't asked yet, or if, if, <laughs> if you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. Okay. Bye. Well, we saw him coming in, Duke of Feral, right here. Esmeralda's lover. Hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Arius before you. I've heard quite the story involving you and Esmeralda. Yes, she and I have a history. That's hardly a secret anymore. I quite doubt it was even a secret from Jake while he lived. As easy as it would be to pin suspicion on Esmeralda or I, I assure you that the affair was never so steamy and sordid as the busybodies around town make it out to be. Jake and- oh, he doesn't like us. Jake and Esmeralda had no uh, great affection for each other. He had his interests, she had hers, and there was little passion left between them. Certainly not enough to fuel a murder. So what do you know? It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the Counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wished Mother Man harm. Okay. Farewell. So all we got really from that is that he declines any involvement in the murder. What about the waitress? It's always the waitress. A source hunter. I'd like to report some dark magic. Only tainted hearts could tip as miserable as this lot. Um, so where were you? I think I'm one of the last folks to hear him alive. That awful scream has been ringing in my ears ever since, and with the room where it all happened still under quarantine, we have a constant reminder of exactly what happened. Though that's the question, isn't it? What exactly did happen? We all thought it was Esmeralda who checked into that room and the Duke that followed her in. I was washing up and nudging the last of the lushes out of the door when a cloaked woman rushed in right past me. I never got a good look at her, damn my eyes, but I figured the way she disappeared that she was visiting one of the lodgers. Lucky for the perpetrators, I was rinsing bottles in the back when a terrible de deed took place and saw nothing more. I ain't proud to say I ducked under the counter and damn well stayed there till I heard Yavad fling that door open, but I was paralyzed with fright. Alright, still no real details. Let's go to the room. You can tell it's the quarantine one by this guard standing outside it. Greetings, Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Orius's explicit approval. I'm going to say I've spoken. Not exactly the friendliest bloke the captain, is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. So there's the murder scene. Um, just as a heads up as well, there is a... I guess I can show you real quick. If you go upstairs, there's a vendor up here. Her, Shereth. And she deals with... I believe it's... What schools does she deal with? What's it called? Witchcraft and I think it's like Scoundrel. So in case you're looking for spells or, or skill books for those, you can come up here and talk to her. We are going to open this door and check out the murder scene. And by check out murder scene, I mean get teleported. Oh boy. Hello there. 
And it starts. It's gonna be a lot of talking here. You know what? Hold on. Let me get a drink of water. <clears throat> Alright. Zigzags. By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? What are you doing here? Where the very stars come to die? Who are you and where have you come from? Well, we are. St you know, I think this is the more appropriate answer. Who am I? Who the devil are you? No, no, no. We may find ourselves at the terminus of time, but I asked you first, and it is only courteous to provide an imp of good and honest standing with the answer he desires. Upon reflection, though, it hardly matters who you are, for the question is not who, but how. All we did was to approach a strange stone. In case you missed it, there was a blue stone in the middle of the room. Uh, it shone with a blinding light, then whirled us away. A stone, you say? Could it be? Could I have been right all along? This stone, what was it? Was it bright and beauteous as a diamond? But did it glow softly deep down in its heart, as if a soul dwelled within? Sure. Starstone, it must be. For centuries it slept this bounty of the heavens, but now it is waking and it has brought it its awakeners here. All was dark and all was still, as it always has been and always would be, or so I thought, so I feared. But then the runes around me began to shimmer, shine, and dance like fair-winged fairies roused from slumber. Huh. Starstone, could it be the key after all, and you its wielder? Things of light to unlock things of darkness? Lead us into realms forbidden where salvation may yet be found. Uh, it would be great if you'd start making sense about now. Yeah, seriously. Oh, I have been making sense all along, my friend, though I didn't even see it. See. See! That is what you must do. Approach the looking lens and behold, if you dare, the darkness before which even the cosmic shadows flee in terror. You know, I think that imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. Yes, let us have a look through the giant looking lens. Yeah, notice where we are. We're in an island in space. Sure, we were in Psy Steel and now we're at an island in space. And something is happening. It's a black hole of death. And now he is over here. Onward we should go. Well, hello there. You looked through the looking lens. You saw. Terrifying, isn't it? So much to see, so much to discover, and so little time to do it in. I know a bad omen when I see one, and that one takes the cake. Oh, we're at... <laughs> we're... <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Refocus. Were that it was only the cake that it took. No tea time would be the same, but at least tea time would still come around. This maw of darkness, it consumes time itself. <laughs> what I'm thinking of when I read this here is the, the nothing from the never ending story, and it, it just brings back happy memories. Anyway, continue. Yes, Starstone Starter, you have just witnessed the end of all. The maelstrom that, like a carrion eater, is devouring the carcass of creation. Space and time have lost all meaning, for they are falling prey to the void, and in the void, there is no existence. A bleak prospect indeed, and yet you do not seem to despair. I did despair. For the longest of times I did. A eons upon eons, I have traveled through the reaches of time, through the rifts that led to worlds unimaginable, hoping to find something, anything, that could put a stop to the maelstrom. That is how I found this place, and I knew that it was here that the answer must be hidden. It teems with mystery undiscovered, with power that is limitless, yet out of reach. Until you came along, the ones who can tame Starstone. You, only you, can tame the Starstone and prevent forest fires. Uh, you have drowned my despair, you whom I believe can end the end of time. Oh. Yeah, you know what, how about you connect the dots for us? To claim I can piece the puzzle together would, at this stage, be premature and insincere, but let me summarize the facts as clearly as I can see them. Here we are, in a fragmented sliver of space, which happens to be the only spot in all the universe where one may directly observe the Void Maelstrom, which I believe is what we saw through the uh, looking lens. 
A portal flanks the looking lens, but until now it was inert. The rune stones that adorn it are special, which led me to believe they were somehow linked to Starstone. Starstone, though, always remained as useless as a pebble. Dead rock of no consequence. Its secrets remained off limits to me. You, however, make the souls inside the Starstone spring to life, and thereby are you activating the portals to new, previously forbidden areas in this strange dimension. I do not know where they lead, but I am convinced they will steer towards a solution. To the con continuance of time. And, it, yeah, it's about time you tell us who you are. But of course, I am Zigzax, the Imp Historian, tasked by the gods to write the history of all creation. Faithfully have I fulfilled my task and would have done so perpetually, until one day I saw that time will end. Impossible, I thought. Inconceivable! <laughs> oh man, inconceivable. So, Princess Bride. If you haven't watched it, you won't get it, but if you have, you'd obviously get it. Oh, an amazing movie. Inconceivable! For the gods had told me that their work was infinite both in date and in distance. But my eyes did not deceive me when the maelstrom might be held. Time would end. I would end. All would end. No, I cried, never. I shall save time if it's the last thing I do. So far my efforts have been in vain, but you, as the saying goes, are the hope that springs eternal. As I said, a lot of talking and there is a lot more to come. How did you get here, and what is here? Also, as an aside, the only time I've gone through this si the situation, I just skipped through everything, all, all of the dialogue, because I knew I would come back through here on the recording. So none of this I actually knew. Like, I've been through all of this, but I didn't actually read it, so this is, this is awesome that I'm actually finally getting the story of this game. Ah, well, you see, on one of my travels I found a runestone in the deep demonic dungeons that hid from daylight far beneath the surface of horror-haunted Nemesis, a plane of frightful perversions. Yeah, it sounds frightful. I read the rune and it brought me here, this sad little realm that is no more than a morsel at the edge of this all-consuming abyss. Ever since, it has been a place where I found shelter, a uh, home even, though it shares its dominion with the terrors, the terror of terrors that is the void. So there you have it, the homestead on the shelter plane at the end of time. Welcome be, my friend, welcome be. So that's what this place is called. Splendid idea. Later we can talk till the cows come home, but right now we should investigate the portal. Where, oh where, does it lead, I wonder? So long! You first, Let's... you first, but don't dilly-dally. Let's go find out. Ooh, what strange new world is this? Let us explore. Where on the world are we? We are not on the world at all. So as you can see, there are multiple portals here, so this is some kind of hub world. Like the center of this game, I believe. Look about him, doesn't he? A smile doesn't cost you anything, you know. The very last chest in the game, apparently. I like that name, last chest. And oh, what's this? This is pretty cool. I like this tapestry of time. Could you be her, the legendary weaver? All right, hold on. Another drink. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. I've tried every imaginable tongue from Dwarf Wagon to Lizard Ease, but this woman simply won't budge. Maybe she just doesn't like the look of a refined, dippish face like mine. Perhaps you'll have better luck, but do please report back what you find, Source Hunter. So long! Let us talk to the Weaver of Time. Now, how crazy is this, okay? We're just source hunters out, I, I believe, on one of our very first missions. We're just supposed to solve a murder. We fought some undead, and then we touch a stone, get transported to, what was it, the home shelter at the edge of the void at the end of time, and now we're talking to the weaver of time itself. This is, I like, what? Like, how crazy would that be? Just put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Like, this is insane. Anyway. Okay. A young woman is ceaselessly weaving a seemingly boundless tapestry with the delicate grace of a harpist plucking out her instrument strings. She takes no notice of anything but her endless occupation. Who are you, madam? At first, it seems this tact tactic turn. Tactic turn? 
attack a turn. A uh, woman will continue to ignore your presence, but then she suddenly glances at you and her eyes go wide with surprise and wonder. Her lips move ever so slightly, and when she speaks, her voice appears to reach you from an untold distance. Whispers wrestled from oblivion. I am time. The weaver of time. In the ethereal, ethereal sorry, threads of eternity do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions. apparitions. The, drifts, the drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands, this and all I chronicle without fault, except it seems you. Do you mean to tell me that I am not at all featured on the canvas of time? I do not mean to, but it is the only thing I can do. Your absence. It should be an impossibility. But no matter where I look, you cannot be found. I do not know you, which makes you my one perennial imperfection, a blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness, perchance the blemish may be undone and time can be redeemed. How can I redeem time if, as you say, I am not even part of it? I think that perhaps you can redeem time because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. Know then that no longer I did weave. I sat here at the precipice of ages, and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. But suddenly there was you, you who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they placed new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerge and I begin to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry, and because you give Starstone's energy, you are creating time. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Yeah, I get it. These Starstones, please seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may yet devour itself alone. Oh, question time. Okay, let's let's get through this. Another drink of water. Sorry, in, in these games, or in this game specifically, with a lot of talking, my throat does get parched. Okay, who are you really? I am the weaver of time, as I have told you, though my existence is one that falls behind and yet far exceeds the verb to be. I am but what I am, and that is task. It is the same for the historian. Chroniclers both are we of the epics of eternity. Perhaps we are one and the same. Task multiplied by two. Who has made us? I do not know. Why have they done so? I do not know. Am I the beginning, and am I to be the end? Who shall say? Perhaps I am the first thing in creation. Perhaps I am creation. Perhaps I am the creator. Or maybe it is you. You, who makes dying stars rekindle. Time alone will tell. Oh boy. Why is Starstone so important, and why does it react to me and my colleague alone? Alas, the answers to those questions still elude me. You and Starstone remain the imperfections upon the tapestry as yet. A hidden answer lies behind this veil of inscrutability, though, for the link between you and the stones reveals that your destinies are intertwined. Starstones will not lead, uh, lead you to new places of wonder only, no. They will also lead to new knowledge through the restoration of the threads of old. You call this place the Precipice of Ages. Is that what it is? No more, no less? That in itself is a lot, I, more than most realms can claim. But no, the Precipice of Ages is not the be-all and end-all of this curious plane. What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be, that is what the star stones will tell. What it is, is but the end. What it could be, is the end of ends. Okay. I resided in another realm altogether, but ever since the end of time appeared in these deep dark skies, I materialized here as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable. 
a thankless task that you may yet free me from forever. Why do you talk to me but not the Imp Historian? I do not usually talk. Come to think of it, when I addressed you it was the first time my voice was ever invoked. I have no need of conversation like I have no need of air or appetite or affection. All I need and all I am is time, and time is running out unless you remedy its declivity. You I talk to, for you may prove to become the cure that will heal my slipping soul. The plot thickens. We it does. The, imp the Weaver's Tale. Let's go tell the Imp the Weaver's Tale. Hello, Imp. I know. <laughs> Did you not catch all that? <sighs> Jeez. So much to see, so much to discover, and so little time to do it in. Hey, you know, I met this Weaver of Time. She talked to me. You were here. You should have seen the whole thing. Wondrous! Oh, wondrous indeed. At least she's willing to speak to someone around here. So what did she say? That I should look for starstones, for they renew and revitalize time. I knew it! As surely as Zix comes before Zax, I knew it! Then that should your mission be, my friend. Oh, I beseech you, let that be your mission. To trace starstone, wherever it may lead you. Together, we'll try to unfold the depths of this dimension, and thereby try to save all and everything from annihilation. Here, take this runestone and this precious little pyramid. Gifts are they from me to you. The rune will bring you back and forth from Rivalon whenever you decide the moment is opportune, and the pyramid, it has a twin. Find it, and you'll see just how handy these twins can be. Okay. Thank you. So long! You've received a runestone that allows you to quick travel. Use the homestead travel button on the right side of the screen, which is right here. So this is your fast travel and it will take you to all the waypoints you have unlocked. So I will go to... I'm trying to think. Where is the other star stone? Because I wanted to show that off to... Uh, that... Uh, let's go to the harbor. Wait, wait, wait. Is it the harbor I want to go to? It's actually probably the north gate is the quickest way. Oh well, we'll just take this way. I've because if we get another star stone, which there is one, I, I think it's the mayor's house. I th or wait, wait, wait. Or is it is it in El Esmeralda's house? Ah, I can't remember. Well, this episode's been pretty long anyway. I'll hunt down the other star stone and then record another episode starting there, which will unlock. I believe it's called the Hall of Heroes, where you can basically just recruit any kind of um, NPC that you want. So any class, combination, any level, although the increasing levels uh, requires more money to hire them. So I want to hire a rogue or ranger type character, and we'll probably dismiss... I don't know, Jahan is very useful. I don't know, I'll think about it. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all in the next episode, and I hope you got all that. All of that narrative that the, sort, the uh, game just gave us. Hold on, let's talk to her. The Enigmas are you. Ha! Leave it to an imp to try to fill our minds with all manner of magical gobbledygook. I'll tell you who you are, Source Hunters. Members of the most esteemed order in Rivalin. Here to find out and grind out every last speck of dark magic in the realm. There. Enigma solved. I'm with you. I want to find more. If it's true, comrade. And that's a pretty hefty if. Unless solving the imp's problem will throw... Ru will throw... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Unless solving the imp's problem with his throw rug is going to help you catch sorcerers, I say leave it be. Then again, if what he says is true and he really does know everything from years past and beyond tomorrow, he might be a mighty powerful ally to have. Imagine. Sorry, Zaxix, I haven't fixed your space carpet, but if you could tell me where the bearded source dragon of Fire Lake has made its nest, I'd be obliged. Ha <laughs> ha! Useful indeed. Alright, that's enough talking for me for once uh, for one episode, so thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.